It was in July 12th that I was walking in the um, Strathcona Community Garden and she was just a little bit ahead of me and sort of went around the corner so I lost sight of her for several minutes and then I went to catch up and uh, she wasn't there. It was just like she disappeared into thin air. I, I searched the garden, other gardeners that were there came and we searched all through the garden. They were all calling her. We looked at the, um, there's some vans parked along Malkin Avenue and they went and knocked on those doors and asked them if they'd seen anything. I went over to the Strathcona Park just across the street and I even went through the tent city there and uh, called her and called her and but there was never any response at all. I feel terrible. I mean she's 14. I've, I've had her since since she was a puppy. I live alone in a little studio apartment. She was everything. My family. I talked to her. She slept with me and now especially in COVID I'm sort of stuck and you know I don't get out. I don't have the urge to get out and walk and because I just feel so bad so I've been doing everything I can to look at to look for her. She's got a short little stubby tail. She's a Yorkie poo. Um, she's uh, her, the base of her hair is dark gray and it's white on the end so it's it's quite unusual and it seems that even having a dog that looks like that that's got a stubby tail um, she they're not many I haven't come across any yet that that have so that's sort of a distinguishing characteristic and that and her her hair color she's got a tattoo on her abdomen she's got um, a microchip so you know she's take somebody's not sure they think well she looks like her but we don't know that that you take her to a vet or the SPCA and um, they can read the microchip. There's no more discussion over that.